My name is Jason Courtney. I'm the Manufacturing Engineering Manager for ICON Tijuana. We're here at our manufacturing facility in Tijuana, Mexico. We've been here for approximately four years. Um, and Tijuana was chosen um, to primarily to insource the production of the composite parts that we build for the A5. By coming to an area like this, we were able to control cost, uh, control quality, and really just kind of control our own process. So we worked with Co-Production International uh, to determine the area we would come to for sele site selection, for uh, recruiting of staff, for all the administrative functions, for uh, permits, uh, all the details to setting up a new company in a country that we weren't familiar with. We're here in the layup area. Uh, and this, is, this is an example of one of the parts that we built for the AFR, A5. Uh, it's a composite tool. And what we're gonna do is we'll take layers of material, um, much, like, much like a garment industry, where we take a roll of material and then we cut it into a specific shape. Each layer is laid into the tool to come up with the reverse of this shape. So we use these equipment behind me, these tables. We take a model of this part here and we'll flatten that out and we'll come up with a shape for that. Then the table then in turn cuts the exact shape and then it's laid into the tool. And this area is where we lay up some of the various parts for the plane. And what we've done here is we've segregated by, you can see the sign up there that says layup A1. We've set it, segregated it by work center. What that does is it, it, it does a few things for us. It allows us to pace the, the speed at which we want to manufacture the parts. So in this zone, these parts here may take just a couple hours to do. In some of the other zones, they may take several hours to do, or maybe even a day. Uh, and also, each work zone will have um, increasing layers of difficulty. Okay, we're here in one of our training areas. Uh, th this area here is specifically for laminating. And how we accomplish training here is we have it segregated by process. So there's, there's a training for laminating, there's a training for bonding, there's a training for our trim applications, there's a training for uh, repairs, there's a training for every process that we have in the building. What we're looking at here is a fuselage skin, or half of the fuselage. So this tool here produces kind of what you're gonna see on the exterior of the plane. It's a fairly complex part. It has a lot, of, a lot of core or a lot of internal components to it. All their locations are critical. So we use these lasers above that take a shape of the, of the part that we're going to apply to the tool surface. So it starts at the beginning process. Where we've taken that shape and cut it on the cutting table. And then this projector is gonna project that exact shape down to the tool surface. This is our CNC trimming operation. On the A5, there's approximately 375 parts. About 80% of them are CNC machined. All of our fixtures are vacuum fixtured. In other words, the part is placed onto whatever particular fixture and then held in a place with vacuum. We're now in the bonding area, and this is where we bond the fuselage and all the structural components together. There's quite a few sub-assemblies that go into one plane. What we do is, it's kind of, imagine it's like a automotive manufacturing type of style. Everything's done in succession. So everything is building from one assembly to a larger assembly as we go. This one here is the, the primary structure, it's the fuselage itself. So we take, we take a left and a right skin and various other structural components. There's a spar in there, there's the bulkheads, there's a load of different parts that come together all in one unit. And you can tell when you look at it, the plane's actually upside down in bonding. All right, so this is our painting operation. It's the, it's the last process in line for the composite assembly. So on one side we do uh, very much automotive style, bodywork, uh, primary application, and then there's a top coat of, up application and a booth over there. It's a heated booth for speed and that sort of thing. So you can see in there we have, we have wing assemblies in there. There's all the flight controls in there. There's all the bolt-on auxiliary de devices or like, uh, the canopy itself, that's, a, that's an external piece that's not bonded onto the aircraft, it's bolted on. 
Okay. And you can see a couple of the fuselages here are in process. One's just been painted. It's already cured, so there's no risk of dust or anything like that. And the other one beside it is in the prime process, so it still needs to be top coated. And the, the big fixture there is just a, oh, it's a gantry. <clears throat> it's gonna spin, or a rotisserie. So it's gonna spin to allow the painters to get on the top and the bottom and all the surfaces. So we're here in the painting department. Uh, these are several of the fuselages that are already completed, already painted, and ready for assembly. So uh, my experience in Mexico has been very positive. The organization's experience in, in Mexico has been very positive. What we've built here is a success story. We've maintained a quality standard that uh, I think we're all very proud of. Um, I couldn't, uh, I, don't, I don't think we could have done this sort of level of work and with the quality and quantity in another area. Thanks for coming to the facility. Hope you uh, enjoyed the tour and uh, we were happy to show you what we're all about. Thank you.